Welcome to the CompuAir Workbench Code Coverage Data Collection Module. Here you will learn how to prepare for code coverage data collection during an expediter debugging session. Code coverage is an advanced analysis tool. It clearly and easily identifies how much of an application has or has not been executed. Code coverage helps identify the percent of code executed for single or multiple programs, for one test or for multiple tests run over time. Code coverage works in conjunction with Expediter CICS, Expediter TSO, and Expediter IMS. The results generated by code coverage can be analyzed from the workbench. See the related code coverage reporting module for details. For the data collection on the mainframe, we will first look at how to prepare for collection from batch programs, followed by collection preparation from CICS programs. At this point, it will be beneficial to review the stages involved in code coverage data collection. For batch applications, programs to be tested must be compiled and linked, producing the load modules and corresponding DDIO source listing members. This accommodates the expediter requirement. Next, code coverage must be enabled. When testing is complete, reporting may be done. For CICS applications, programs to be tested also must be compiled and linked, producing the load modules and corresponding DDIO source listing members. Likewise, this accommodates the expediter requirement. Additionally, the program inventory file must be updated if necessary, to contain the names of the programs to be tested. Next, code coverage collection must be started in the appropriate region, followed by running the CICS transaction. When testing is complete, collection must be halted for the region. Finally, the reporting may be done. For batch programs, the appropriate configuration parameters must be specified. Here we see the target tab of a batch expediter debug configuration. The scripting and code coverage tabs should be examined. Here we see the scripting tab. An initial script is commonly used for batch code coverage data collection. The PDS member, coverage in this case, contains the command set brcov on. This command effectively requests detailed information about branching logic, indicating which verb following a branch is intended for execution. Branch coverage is optional. More information is available in the Expediter Code Coverage Mainframe User Reference Manual. The Code Coverage tab also requires attention. The Code Coverage box is most commonly checked. The available system flow information identifies what elements such as transaction IDs, load modules, and programs have been executed during the course of executing an application. Enter a repository, a system name, and a test ID. Complete the information for test data optimization if appropriate. For programs in which the paths taken are determined by data content on a current input record, TDO can help identify an optimized subset of records that yield an acceptable execution percentage. 
Testing with this subset of records can significantly reduce execution time and conserve resources. Again, more information is available in the Expediter Code Coverage Mainframe User Reference Manual. When the required information is complete, click on Debug. When testing is complete, examine the log to verify the following code coverage related information. The correct initial script was used. Code coverage was active. The correct system and test IDs were specified. The repository containing the information collected is now available for access from the workbench. For CICS programs, the appropriate parameters on the code coverage view must be specified. Here we see the target tab for a CICS debug configuration. The code coverage parameters appear elsewhere. Click on Debug. Once the session is launched, if the CICS code coverage view is not already open, choose Window on the menu bar at the top, then choose Show View, then choose CICS code coverage. In the code coverage view, find the Add Test Definition icon on the menu bar. Positioning the cursor over the icon confirms its function. The Add Test Definition dialog box will appear. Complete the system name and test ID, then choose Next. In the Test Definition Specification dialog box, click on the Add button below the User ID section. The Add User ID dialog box will appear. Enter the User ID Choose Include or Exclude, then choose OK. Now click on the Add button below the Mask section. The Add Mask dialog box will appear. Add any appropriate masking information, then click on OK. Once again, click on OK. A confirmation message will signal the Ready for Code Coverage data collection. Highlight a line, in this case there is only one, then click on the Start Collection icon. The status will change from Available to Collecting. At this point, the program debugging may begin and all pertinent code should be executed. When testing is complete, click on the Stop Collection icon. The Collecting Status and Yes code coverage will change to Available and No, respectively, and a Test Halted confirmation message will appear. The repository containing the information collected, in this case associated with the CICS region used for the test, is now available for access from the workbench. This concludes this module. Thank you.